In this video, we're going to look at the two different ways we use the binomial distribution using the TI-84. So what you want to do is first you want to look at the binomial PDF. And that is uh, when there is one single outcome that you're looking at. And the way we do that is we hit second bars. And that gives us this distribution menu. And we have to scroll down to letter A. And it says binomial PDF. And then we plug in our options here. So we hit A, we hit Enter. It gives us three values that it's looking for. The trials, which is the number of trials. Um, P is a probability, and it has to be written as a decimal. And then the X value, that's the particular value you're looking for. The other one is when you have a range of values. And this one is called binomial CDF, the C being cumulative, so it's adding up the probabilities for you. So the way we find that is the same way, second bars, we scroll all the way down to option B, and that is the binomial CDF. And when we plug the values in for binomial CDF, the one thing we need to keep in mind is trials is the same idea, probability, we use a decimal, and then the X value, uh, what it will do is it starts adding all the probabilities, starting with X equals zero, up to the, n and including the number that you put in here. And so if you put the value of 3 in there, it's going to add the probability of 0, 1, 2, and 3 happening. So what we'll do is a couple examples here and see uh, how it works. So we have a manufacturer of light bulbs, and 3% are defective. And they're saying, what is the probability that exactly 5 bulbs in a carton of 140 will be defective? And so the word exactly there, that gives you a good clue that you're using binomial PDF because it's just one value. So we go second bars and we go down to our binomial PDF and then we're going to input our values here and in this case the number of trials is 144 because that's how many bulbs we have. The probability is 3% but we have to write that as a decimal so that's 0.03 and then the x value is the one we're interested in. So what is the probability that five of them are defective? So we type in five. And we go down to paste and we hit enter. And now it's written it out as a binomial PDF function. And to do the calculation, we hit enter one more time. And we see we get 0.169. So that's about 16.9% chance that five of them will be defective. All right. So let's try another one. 30% of students at a large university are known to be short-sighted. If 20 students are picked at random, find the probability that at, at most two of them are short-sighted. So what that means is the word at most should be a clue to you that this is actually a range of values. And so this one we're going to be using binomial CDF. So we hit second bars and we go down to CDF. Um, now the trials in this case is going to be 20 because we have 20 students that we're looking at and the probability they told us is 20 percent 30 percent so we're going to put in 0.3 and then the x value this is where we have to do a little bit of thinking here so it says at most two students so that would include 2 1 and 0 so for the CDF function, if I put the number 2 in here, that's going to add the probability of 2, 1, or 0 students, which is what the question is asking us. Uh, so again, I go down to paste, I hit enter, hit enter again, and you see we get 0 0.0354. So that is the probability that at most two of the students, so either 2, 1, or 0 students, are going to be short-sighted. So that's how you use uh, binomial PDF with the TI-84.